Following the Civil War, the United States faced a daunting task of rebuilding a shattered nation. Emancipation promised freedom to millions of enslaved African Americans, yet the oppressive system of sharecropping marred the reality of their newfound liberty. Emerging in the Reconstruction era, sharecropping became a pervasive and exploitative practice, perpetuating economic bondage and obstructing the path to wealth accumulation for African Americans. Let's delve into the origins, mechanics, and devastating impacts of sharecropping, illuminating its role in the prolonged subjugation of black Americans. Sharecropping arose in the aftermath of the Civil War as a purported solution to the labor shortage plaguing Southern agricultural economies. With the abolition of slavery, plantation owners faced the challenge of sustaining their vast plantations without a readily available workforce. The system of sharecropping offered a compromise allowing former slaves to work the land in exchange for a share of the crops produced. However, this seemingly equitable arrangement masked a deeply exploitative reality. Under the sharecropping system, landowners provided tenants, predominantly African Americans, with land, seeds, and tools in exchange for a portion of the harvest. However, the terms of the agreements were heavily skewed in favor of the landowners trapping sharecroppers in a cycle of debt and dependency. In many cases, landowners charged exorbitant interest rates on supplies, trapping sharecroppers in perpetual indebtedness. Moreover, arbitrary pricing and accounting practices often led sharecroppers to meager returns on their labor, continuing a cycle of poverty. Sharecropping served as a potent tool for the further subjugation of African Americans in the post-Civil War South. Despite the abolition of slavery, sharecroppers were subject to conditions akin to serfdom, with little autonomy or control over their lives. The inability to accumulate wealth through sharecropping thwarted African Americans' aspirations for economic independence and upward mobility, relegating them to a continuous cycle of poverty and dependence on white landowners. The oppressive nature of sharecropping was further exacerbated by a legal and social framework that reinforced racial inequality. Black sharecroppers were systematically denied access to education, economic opportunities, and political rights, further entrenching their economic disenfranchisement. Moreover, the pervasive racism of the Jim Crow era meant that African Americans faced violence, intimidation, and discrimination if they sought to challenge the status quo. Despite their formidable obstacles, African-American sharecroppers demonstrated remarkable resilience and resistance in the face of oppression. From organizing labor strikes to participating in the civil rights movement, black agriculture workers played a pivotal role in challenging the injustices of sharecropping and demanding greater economic and social justice. While sharecropping as a formal institution has largely faded into history, its legacy continues reverberating in the economic disparities that persist in the United States today. The enduring wealth gap between black and white Americans can be traced back to the inequalities created by sharecropping and the broader system of slavery. Addressing these disparities requires a reckoning with the legacies of the past and a commitment to dismantling systematic barriers to economic opportunity and racial justice. Sharecropping stands as a stark reminder of the legacy of slavery and racial oppression in the United States. Far from emancipating African Americans, the system of sharecropping maintained economic exploitation and subjugation, thwarting black aspirations for freedom and prosperity. As we confront the ongoing challenges of racial inequality and economic injustice, it is essential to recognize the historical roots of these disparities and work towards a greater future for more information, please visit my website at www.ontheshoulders1.com. There, you can support my OTSOG book series. You can also support me on Patreon at patreon.com backslash OTSOG. You can hit the super like button under this video. I love you all, and make sure you catch the next video coming up.